Hi, this is Ruby with Marketing Your Product for Profit. Well, you can hear the birds singing outside of my office. Today, we're going to talk about Pinterest Analytics, a business guide with yours truly. Why use analytics? It's very important and very simple. I know they seem complicated, but it's the best way for you to learn about your audience and learn if Pinterest is working for your business. What we're going to cover today, the basics. Pinterest, website analytics, profile analytics, audience analytics. We're going to cover definitions, impressions, the number of times a pin shows up in your home feed, search results and category feeds, what are repins, the number of times someone saved your pin to one of their boards. Repins are how pins are shared across Pinterest. Clicks, the number of clicks to your website from pins on your profile and the number of clicks from your website back onto Pinterest. Now, first thing that we're going to do is go to our profile overview. And as you can see, I'm shutting down PowerPoint. And now we're at my Vintage Patterns Days Past profile dashboard here on Pinterest. You can see that I have 189 boards. I have 19,000 pins. I have 1,100 likes, 14,000 followers, and I'm following about 15,000 people. Now, these are all of my boards. I was one of the first people invited to go on to Pinterest, so I also have a number of community boards um, that are associated with, um, with, the, with the topics or keywords along with my Vintage Patterns profile. Now, if we want to get to our analytics, as you can see up in the upper right-hand corner, you can edit your profile, and to the right of that you see a gear, and you also see an arrowhead. If you click that arrowhead, you'll see your account settings, find friends, promote pins, tips for your business, analytics, make a widget, and you can log out. We're going to click analytics. Now, your analytics dashboard looks like this. Hi there, Vintage Patterns Days Past. You can see you have several different entry points. You have your Pinterest profile, your audience, and the activity from your website or blog. So your overview for your profile looks like this. You can scroll down and you can see your top pin impressions for the last 30 days from the website as it says here. So according to this, for 30 days, I've had about 22,000 impressions on one pin, and that was a high-waisted pencil skirt pattern. I've had 110 repins, and I've had 105 clicks, which means that someone took action. Liking the pin, is something that really is a personal f preference. Some people repin, other people just like. Typically, I've found um, with myself as well as from asking people, they like something when they don't have time to repin it and they go back and, and pin it. They just want to keep track of it. So first, we are going to look into our Pinterest profile. And you would click the More button and that would bring you here. The first thing that you see is impressions, pins, clicks, and all time. So your impressions, again, are just that overview of anyone that has seen your pin in their feed. And you can see that it's dedicated by viewers as well as by impressions in the visual graph. You can explore further by looking down at your top impressions for the last 30 days. Again, clicks, repins, and likes. You can also look at your top 
performing boards. My crochet pattern board is my top performing board with 198,000 impressions. Again, impressions are not that important to me. What's important to me are the number of click-throughs because I want to be able to understand what patterns people like the most, uh, especially in my digital um, file and what I'm giving away for free on the blog. The sewing um, board is also very important, 72,000 impressions, 360 click-throughs. People love the doll pages, 72,000, 124 click-throughs. The iris crochet board is also very important, 36,000 with 216 um, click-throughs to the website. The 60s fashion and patterns are also very, um, very important to people. You can also see that there is more information to be had, and it's just in chronological order. And again, you can take a closer look at the, the repins, a closer look at the, the clicks, and that all time number. Now we want to move over to your audience. Now, this area I find to be very, very insightful, and it's for a couple of reasons. One, it tells me the country that people originate from that interact with my board. It also tells me the languages. It tells me what major cities. I do hope they begin to expand on this, um, because this would help with my um, Facebook marketing. Gender. Um, overwhelmingly female, unspecified, but I also have, for small business, I have a fair number of men that are following my board. Why the country is significant to me when I first saw this um, and correlated it with my eBay, um, um, demo, um, not demographics, but my eBay analytics, I found that I had gotten my first customers from from Mexico and South America about a year and a half ago. And that number has grown. So I don't, with my vintage patterns board or with my vintage pattern website, I make sure that um, I have um, um, translators um, because I have customers visiting um, from other countries. Now, Let's move on to our last area, which is the activity from my blog. Now, again, you can see my daily impressions. And if you go through there, you can see the spikes. And a lot of times, the spikes have to do with whether or not I have um, completed a post. Now, I apologize for that. There is a wasp in my office. That is terrible. Anyway, I apologize for that. There is a wasp in my office. So, as I said, this is the activity from, the, from my blog, Vintage Patterns Days Past. Now, What's important here again is what are the click-through rates? I have some, some decent impressions, but how many people are clicking through? So I have 13 people tatting by far across these platforms show me that people like that tatting article. And you can see... you can see that um, they also like the free vintage patterns, the free, the free ooh, excuse me, the free 40s vintage pattern, sewing pattern, and also a newspaper pattern that came from Pinterest. And again, if you clicked on show more, um, you can see more impressions and more clicks, um, again, in chronological order. The top 
boards. Uh, again, craft ideas. Tatting comes up again. Um, travel, which is the escape plan. And sewing comes up. Crochet is still very, very popular. And the number of click-throughs are very important. So with that being said, today you've had an opportunity to learn about Pinterest analytics. I appreciate you joining. I apologize for the wasps. I'm scared to death of them. Um, and I hope you enjoy hearing the birds in the background. If you have questions about today's lesson, please feel free to email me at ruby at marketing your product for profit. Um, you can leave your comment or thoughts on the Facebook page or on the website. Thank you so much. And have a good day.